We got everything we need here this afternoon. And we are underway with the Hoyas controlling the opening tip. And the man with the ball right now, very talented freshman. And Dan, that ball has to get into the ACC area and operate. Cannot. That's a big three for Georgetown here early, but they can't rely on the three. Fonz, they're 6'5", 6'6", up at the top. Wide open look. And the three will go down for Elijah Hughes. Said to us, they have to learn when to and why to, oh. and they've not done that with any consistency here early. Nice rebound and put back by LeBlanc. Score. He's only touched the basketball once. That was a lob, and Govan's eventually going to get it and lay it in. And that backboard is open. McClung, pull-up jumper, soft touch, and the Georgetown lead is up to six, and Jim Beheim's going to use a timeout this time. Lob over the top, and two Syracuse players collide, and that, in a nutshell, is how things have gone for the Orange so far as the uber-athletic Mac McClung converts at the other end. Second chance opportunities for the Orange. D Dolajai is 6'10". He still weighs only 180 pounds. Ola Blanc got it just before it hit the glass. Howard gets inside. That'll help. Look at McClung. Didn't get the finish, but he comes down with the ball. Now a behind-the-back pass. Extra feed inside. Pretty basketball from the Hoyas. His mannerisms are exactly like his dad Alonzo's, but he doesn't quite have the pass. There's an offensive rebound and a much-needed bucket for battle. One of O'Shea Brissett's best friends. They played together at the high school level in Canada. Battle spinning, hanging, won't go. Golajai with a tip in. Carey caught from behind by Akinjo, but Johnny on the spot is Sidibe to lay it in. The band is open along the baseline if that ball can find him. Pickett for three. Got it. Mm. Jamarco Pickett, sophomore from Washington, D.C. Practice yesterday was really angry. Wow, what a drive. How about this kid? We told Fearless, you that huh? Mac McClung has become an Instagram and YouTube sensation for his, his athleticism. And Govan tips it back out for a fresh possession and a bucket as Akinjo knocks it down. Screen gets Howard to the bucket. And then we talked about that the entire first half. Out on the floor and allow the guards to turn the corner. That was well executed. Govan, talk about a soft touch for a big man to restore a 10-point advantage. Carey more of a driver than a shooter, but McClung took the ball away from him. He's been everywhere. Woo! <laughs> and Hughes got all of that, and McClung hit the court hard. I mean, a hard drive. And I thought, yeah, I thought that was a good block there on the top there by Elijah Hughes. But, man, what a spike in the force. But that spike forced him to the floor. A touch of the foul line for LeBlanc, but he has to kick it back out. Corner three, Govan, and Georgetown has its largest lead of the afternoon. Possession for Georgetown was beautiful. Boy, Patrick Ewing barking at his players right now, but he's got to be so happy with what he's seeing as Brissett gets a friendly roll. Morning trying to screen up at the top of the zone, trying to get a King Joe around battle. Still lots of time. A couple of good interior passes, and Morning knocks it down. Bucking the lead grows to 15. They stand here at the Carrier Dome until the Orange makes its first bucket of each half, and Battle's going to sit him down. A turnover. Three on two. Hughes will lay it in. Nice. Go Van with a runner. Again, soft touch for the big man. Wing told us before the game, the Hoyas have seen zone earlier this year. Thought they did okay against it. Nice interior feed. Chukwu with a finish. Ball inside as they did there. Not this time for Govan. Hughes has numbers. Bat a little shake and bake. And one. Akinjo forces up a three. Rebound battle. Numbers again. Battle again. Govan has to get a touch. 
He got one, kicked it back out. Mosley back to the big fella. Boy, he's got a lot of different shots mm -hmm. in his bag, doesn't he? He's so good. He's got all the little hook touch shots yep. around the brim as well. That'll quiet the crowd, at least for the moment, as the lead grows back to five. Brissett with a corner three. Frank Howard on the bench with four fouls. Carey in at the point, and Chukwu with another bucket. Terrific job of turning the corner. Need more of that from the Cuse. McClung, Woo. another three. Again, Govan gets a touch. How about that hook shot? Govan misses the jumper. Got to go here. Carey, no look, bounce pass. Brissett with a finish. Oh, they I have more points out. this half than they had the entire first half. And a block by Brissett. This ball is saved. Seen it pay off here in the early part of the season for Trey Morning. Pull up by Battle. Getting downhill, and Zion Williamson does some of everything for the Blue, Blue Devils. First lead for Syracuse. Led to that wide open three point shot by Elijah Hughes. Battle with a long two. All of a sudden, they can't miss. Eight on the shot clock. Brissett got a chance for three. And in the half court, that ball has to get to Govan at some point, too. Nice. The guy that Patrick Ewing described as a pleasure to coach mm -hmm. when he talked to us Ooh. before the game. How about that? Elijah Hughes. Misses that three. Nice look from Malinowski. And he gets it back. Good ball movement from the Hoyas. Hughes feeling it. Shot clock at five. Perry gets inside, knocked away by LeBlanc. Blair, way short. Govan saves it. Malinowski knocks it down. Boy, what a dandy finish coming here, it looks like, at the Carrier Dome. Good day to get a blanket, some popcorn, and just watch <laughs> the two. Absolutely. Javon Blair will give the young man credit. He has not had a good day. Syracuse came back from 15 down, took the lead. Georgetown's got it back. Chukwu from battle, and it's a one-point game. No call. Carey puts it up, and it goes! Govan gets a touch. Nice look. Blair blocked by Carey. Shot after big shot, and he's taking this game over. Shot clock running down. Govan with another big bucket for the Hoyas. What a game he's having. Everything on the perimeter so far Back in this possession. Battle for three. Yes! For three. Got it! How about that? Who will take the shot for Syracuse? Battle. Georgetown ball. Screened by Govan. Offensive foul. Dolajai stepping in. Battle comes to get it. Mosley is on him. Four seconds. Got it! Friend. Oh, I've seen this movie before. Tyus Battle has a penchant for knocking down big shots, gets the defense sliding to his right, and he has the ability to stop on a dime and elevate. A little screen here. Got Jagan Mosley, number four in black, a little off balance, which created the room. Blair from midcourt. Oh, off the back of the iron. It would have won it. But Syracuse wins 72 to 71 in a thrilling second half comeback.